Hey church family, it is Friday, March 27th. I uh, wanted to post a video um, giving you a word from the Lord this morning, hopefully a, a piece of encouragement and comfort from God's word as well as some instruction uh, as we continue to move forward in the midst of this pandemic at First Baptist Olo. First and foremost, if I were to ask you the question uh, right now, how are you doing? I wonder what your answer would be. I have asked several people that question. I've gotten a variety of answers, a lot of which uh, include fear, a lot of which include anxiety, a lot of which include uncertainty, all natural and understandable emotions during a time like this. Uh, many folks, their jobs have been affected. Uh, those within our own congregation, their livelihoods have been affected, and they're looking around going, I don't know what's next. We're trying to see how this is going to play out. Many uh, have family members in the medical field, and they're concerned about them. Many work in the medical field in and of themselves and concerned about them. And then you talk about everything else within the world, and you go, it just it looks like chaos. It looks like things are breaking down. But I want to give you a word from Psalm 46 this morning, something that is very encouraging to me that I often reference a lot. Uh, if you've been in the hospital, I've probably read this verse to you when I visited because it is a go-to for me. But number uh, verse 1 of Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. In times like this, we look for a lot of a lot of help from a lot of different people, whether it's encouragement from uh, a friend, whether it's encouragement or, or uh, uh, lifting up from a book or, or news or just a, a word of hope. I think people in times like this want, want some sort of hope, some sort of help, because I think we can look around and recognize that we are in trouble. We are in a time of trouble. Uh, it, is, it is pandemonium. Uh, because of uncertainty and sickness and this virus that's going around, we are in a time of trouble. And so what I want to encourage you to do is not to look to the things of this world. Don't look to the government for help in your time of trouble. Don't look to a bailout bill uh, to help you in a time of trouble. Those things are good and helpful, sure. But the only place in which we as Christians, or anybody for that matter, will find true help and refuge is in God. Because God is our refuge as his people. He is our strength. Our strength fails us during these times. But he is our refuge and he is our strength. Not only that, he is very present, as the word says, in times of trouble. He's not far off watching how you will respond to this pandemic. He's not far off going, I hope these people make it through this. He is very present with his people in the time of trouble. And so you can be assured today, uh, church, that you're not alone. If you trust in the Lord, if you've turned from your sin and trust in the Lord, God is our very present help, our refuge and strength in the time of trouble. But even even so, it goes on, this passage goes on uh, to kind of uh, kind of elaborate on that and things God has done in history and what God will do. But it gets to verse 10, and in the midst of this pandemic, one thing that it's done for all of us is it has stopped us in our tracks. We live in a fast-paced culture. And so what it has done for most of us, there's no ball practice, there's no school, there's no extracurricular activities. It has halted us, brought us to a stop to where we have been forced to be still. And verse 10 is key, I think, for us in this moment. As God is our strength, as God is our refuge in the time uh, of trouble, verse 10 says this, be still, we're all forced to be still right now. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I will be, God says, exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And so church, my word for, to you uh, this morning is rely upon the Lord, the Lord for your strength. He is a refuge and very present in the time of trouble. But in the midst of your uh, stillness, your forced government mandated, if you will, stillness, be still and know that God is God. He's not confused. He's not wondering what he's going to do next. He's not trying to figure out how he's going to respond to this COVID-19 pandemic. None of those things because he's God. Be still and know that God is God. Let this increase your prayer life. Let this increase your faith. Let this increase your relationship with God as you be still and know that he is God. Dive into the Word. Get into God's Word. Trust in Him. And He indeed, He indeed will see you through. I can assure you of that. So here's what we got coming up. Um, 
We're changing our video platform for Sunday's service. We're going to be streaming through YouTube. It will be available. We'll post a link on uh, Facebook and all that when the time comes. You will be able to find the link through our website. We'll make it very clear. Uh, but because we ran into several streaming issues this last Sunday, it looks like YouTube is going to be our best option for streaming uh, to, uh, to uh, the masses. The masses. That's funny. Uh, but everybody's streaming, so it slows down everything. But YouTube is going to be uh, our best option, I think. And so uh, we'll, we'll send all that out. We'll email it. We'll text it. We'll have it on our website. We'll have it on Facebook. We'll have it through every avenue that you can find. And so we are changing that up just a bit. And then second, I am going to post a video. I've had some questions about online giving and how that works and this, that, and the other. It's basically just like you pay your bills online. Most of us pay our bills online. You can set it up to be recurring. You can set up which day it comes out of the month, this, that, and the other. Uh, I, will, uh, I will put something up with some further instruction on that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so make sure you're checking that out uh, if need be. Love you guys. Be still and know that God is God. Look forward to worshiping via online again. Uh, this Sunday, and I look forward to the day, whenever that will be, in which we get to uh, gather once again as a people of God. Be blessed.